So at work, we use GitHub, and I love GitHub. And one of the best things about GitHub is the pull request experience. And in particular, the way that they handle the files and the headers of the files, so that as you scroll down within a PR, the file header will remain stuck at the top of the browser's viewport using position sticky. Now, what makes that even more enjoyable is that when you then click on the file header to collapse the section, what you'll notice is that the header of the file remains stuck so to speak, to the top of the viewport. This allows the content of the next file to remain firmly within the site of the user so that they can continue their uh, pull request reviewing in a, in a sort of natural manner. Uh, and in order to do this, what we have to do is as we toggle this, uh, as we toggle the overall section, we actually have to scroll the window to adjust for the, for the change. So what you'll notice here is, let's jump down lower, right? So what we can see here is that the scroll bar is basically in the middle of the page. And as we collapse, what you'll notice is that the scroll bar is going to change, right? You can see it jumped up from the middle to about here. And we have to do that to account for the amount of section of a particular file that has been scrolled past the top of the viewport, right? We come up here and we collapse. And now section seven is promptly below section six. So how do we do this? Let's take a look at the code. So here are my sections, and I just have a simple ng4 loop. Uh, and you can see that inside the header, and the header is just position sticky, I'm not even going to bother showing the CSS. Uh, but what you can see is that when we click to toggle the particular section, we're passing in obviously the section, uh, con the section object, but we're also passing in this section ref. Now the section ref here, you can see I'm using the hash sign to create a local template variable. That local template variable is local to a template reference, which allows each iteration of the ng4 to have its own unique section reference. So I'm going to pass that section reference into the toggle section. And if we jump down to toggle section, you see again, we get the section object and we get the section element. And we're just going to toggle the collapse here. That's going to change the, uh, the DOM itself. Uh, but then we're going to check to see if that section is being collapsed. If it's being collapsed, here's when we have to adjust the offset of the window viewport. And to do that, we're going to take the section element, we're going to get the bounding uh, rectangle. That's going to give us the location of the section relative to the browser's viewport. And if the top of that, of that rectangle is less than zero, I mean that the top, in, the top of the section element is above the top fold of the viewport, we want to scroll the browser down, or up I should say. We, we want to scroll the browser up to the top of that uh, section, right? So we're, uh, so take section seven, right? So right now the top of section seven is a good deal above the viewport. So when we're going to collapse this, we're going to scroll up now so that the top of this section is at the top of the viewport. And that's all we have to do. So that's, that's the extent of the code here. Um, I have a negative four here just to account for some of the CSS styling on the page. Uh, but anyway, I, I love GitHub's uh, pull request experience and I like the idea here of being able to collapse the section, scroll the browser up to match the top of that collapse section such that the content below it is now uh, immediately accessible to the user.